best way to do it is to have air. So I have my compressor right here. I got this um, attach this uh, air attachment with a rubber rubber nozzle from Harbor Freight. A few bucks for this piece. Uh, so you're gonna want to uh, put air in in this spot right here. That's where the rubber where the rubber is gonna come in handy. It's gonna make a nice seal. And I got a piece of wood right here. And don't forget to wear safety glasses. So the reason you're seeing me use two different size pieces of wood here is because it's really difficult to equally pressurize both pistons at the same time. So I ne essentially needed to have um, one piston come out further than the other and, and this was my solution. So this is the dust boot right here. I'm gonna pull this one guy off. The rebuilt kit comes with a dust boot and a seal. So the seal is this rubber piece right here. We're gonna take those out right now. So I'm gonna try to get these seals out of here. Let me try to go in here. Hopefully you guys can see this. So we're gonna get in there. I don't care if I damage this. So you're just gonna pull this out like that. There's one. The caliper is fully disassembled now, and all it takes is a little bit of cleaning. So I'm going to go ahead and open up this these uh, centric centric um, rebuild kit. As you can see, it comes with two seals right here and two dust boots. So, um, you know, larger one, larger 40 mil and the 36 mil right here. So you can see the difference in the size of the, of the pistons and the caliper. So this is the 40, this is 36. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a light coating of silicone paste on these and uh, we'll go from there. Just gonna spread it. I'm gonna put a really light coating. I don't want to. I don't want to put it on so thick that you know it's gonna get all over the inside of the uh, piston. I want as mu as little um, mixing with the brake fluid as possible. Alright, so I'm gonna grab the 40 mil uh, seal and then it's the second groove in here. So I'm going to Should fit in there nicely. Make sure it's, give it a little press, make sure it's seated properly. As you can see. So this next step, it, the manual says to use some silicone paste on the inside of these piston boots. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. Gonna take some brake fluid. Gonna lightly coat the piston. Coat 
the other one. Then I'm going to coat the inside of the caliper. All right, now for assembly. So the manual states to install the dust boots first. And um, the way the way the dust boots work, this this edge right here attaches to the first groove in the piston, and this inside inside edge hugs the pistons themselves like this. So um, it's going to be hard to. It's easiest to install this without the piston, but it's going to be hard to get the piston through this without without it grabbing it and binding it. So um, I'm going to first. Um, install this on the piston, like so. So what I do is I just push it on and it goes inverted right here when you do it from the bottom. So I like to push it all the way up, get it seated in that groove. That way you can fully Go back to normal shape right here. Get my flathead in there, pull it down, pull the boot down. So the difficult part is it's really it's really slick right now, right? So I like to just put it, um, get the dust boot right on the edge of the piston. And then what you do is you just kind of sit it in there like this. Just sit it in there like that. And then you go around like this, you see that? And then what you gotta do is you gotta grab, kinda either grab the bottom lip, this piece right here, which is gonna sit in the groove, you gotta push it down, or, or end up pushing, pushing this part with the flathead so this can sit in the groove. Um, and it has to, I have to keep the hold of the piston and hold it in this position. Otherwise, if the piston goes in like this, it's way harder to, there's not enough room to slip this, this lip into the groove with the piston in the way. So you have to slide it like this, get the piston out of the way in order for you to do this with the, with the dust boot and get it in the groove. So you always have to tilt the piston backwards this way, whichever way I'm working on, tilt it away from what I'm working on so I can get my screwdriver in there. And then a lot of times with this centric one, the, the dust boot is a little bit uh, plasticky, almost like uh, poly, not rubber. So I can hear it pop into the groove even sometimes and that helps. So you wanna hold onto the piston too while you're doing this. So the piston doesn't go all the way out. Then you gotta start all over again because the hardest part is, the reason why you can't put the boot in, the uh, uh, dust boot in first is because it's just really hard to get the boot um, diameter around the piston, so you don't want the piston to, to fall out. So you're kind of just holding it in this state of not too far in, not too far out. So I'm going to test it. See like that. I know it's seated because it's not coming out. All right, sealed. 